Hey everybody, welcome back. We're looking at a little do-it-yourself DIY scale swap out. Now this is your standard Benchmade 535 bug out. So we'll set the Benchmade box to the side. We've got a little tool here, Torx drivers. Um, and we'll set the knife to the side really quick. And let's take a look at what we have from Rock Scale Design. Now they're shipped in a nice plastic container and it's very secure. Uh, they do also have some lining paper in there. I took that out. But this is a uh, kind of a flat blue material, or coating, I should say, that he uses on his, what he calls critter scales. So you have like a critter pattern in here. And so I'll let you take a look at those. I have another one I'll show near the end. But you can see the millions done really well. Here's the insides. RSD for rock scale design and it's kind of got a matte finish to it so I think it'll look really good on here um, let's see what we have here let me know what you guys think first impressions right okay so I'm gonna set these over here and we'll get uh, going on taking the knife apart close the blade safety first get all this taken apart here so hopefully you guys are doing good, enjoying the new year, still working on your resolutions, or maybe they're not. Maybe the resolution is to buy more knives. Yeah, maybe. That would be cool. My resolution is to get most of the knives on my list this year, but that's gonna take me selling some of my other knives. So working on that this year selling knives, which I didn't think I was going to sell many knives, but obviously, as we all know, you got to sell some knives. So, okay, we got all the screws out on this side. We'll wait on the pivot. We'll take the pocket clip off over here. Get this all taken off. These are all a T6 Torx bit. And just also want to say thank you to you guys watching the live stream I had going tonight, which is Sunday and uh, getting ready for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway coming up next weekend. So I'm gonna try to do that live and just an amazing group of companies and one other knife enthusiast that have donated items for that giveaway. So pretty, pretty amazing stuff, man. It just makes you go, holy cow. People are really, really nice. And it's what I've experienced over the last couple years, you know, knife community is just great. So if you're wondering about this mat that I'm using, I, this is just a uh, like computer parts repair mat. It's kind of a rubbery material and got it off Amazon. Got some, uh, thinking about maybe, I don't know. I got these scales here. I might try to do a purple on these since they're already blue. But I don't have a knife to put them on, so I already have a purple one, but it'd be kind of cool to have a purple with a satin blade. I don't need to buy another bug out though. If you see my other bug out videos, you know I got a couple of them, but I'll try to compare them at the end of this. So got all the screws out on this side. Now we'll go back to the pivot here, which that's gonna take a T10. So we'll remove our T6, put our T10 in, and we'll undo the pivot. Heard some talk on the Omega Springs on these bug outs. A couple people have had some issues where they were getting weak or had done something where one one had broke. So, you know, just if that ever happens, you guys, I mean, Benjamin will replace that stuff for free. So, you know, if you're close by or you just, you know, can mail it to them. They got, a, they got a pretty good turnaround going right now, about a week or so. And then mailing obviously takes another week back and forth. But so anyways, if you ever seen these flat side, the pivot, obviously flat side goes on the right, I believe. I'll have to look at that before I put it back together. I did that wrong on the last, on the last go around. It was pretty funny because somebody's like, hey, one's not like the other. Uh, so there's your washers. We'll set that off to the side. Got one more in here. 
and we'll just take this apart. So you got your barrel spacers here. Those are slotted. So those do have a square. So we can get that on camera square on each side. So it keeps them from spinning when you're tightening them down on each side. So we'll remove those, Put those up there, the other scales, got your other washer, everything inside here, your Omega springs and stuff. So we'll take that other washer out. Put it with the blade. Now, of course, it's always the putting back together that's uh, the fun part. So we'll do that here really quick. And we'll just build this back together kind of the way the other one came out. See how that stuff's kind of already milled out for it right there. So. Yep, I'll just go right into there. So one of the things I like to do is on these, I'll just drop one of these screws into here. And that just helps, and I'll just set it with a couple threads. Because that just helps set it. I don't see it off camera there. It just helps with keeping it in place while you work on it, you know, so that liner stays lined up there and all good to go. And let's see here. And as you can see on his scales, he's also got them milled out more in like an oval shape. So the square parts obviously will stay just like intended. Those backspacers won't move. We'll put that one on. I have a different setup today than normal, so apologize that some of the stuff's getting off camera there. You guys going to uh, Blade Show? I know it's a question that's been coming up in Atlanta. Something I was looking at, but trying to afford it. it's going to be the other part, so. I think maybe on these, yeah, I think we'll do the same thing on these. We'll just drop a screw in each one of these a little bit to hold it in there. That'll be good. Just enough. Oh, we can put it all together and it doesn't fall apart on us, right? that one yeah so if you guys haven't checked him out yeah you know, rock scale designs does a lot of his work through Instagram so you can check him out over there and uh, yeah just a really good dude okay and we're back sorry about that <clears throat> but yeah rock scale designs does a lot of his work through Instagram and is really good at communication over there and so if you have any questions or if you're looking to get a hold of something just hit him up over there and he'll he'll respond to you pretty quick and is really good about uh, at least telling you what's happening with him so that's how I ordered all my stuff through him that way so yeah so it looks like we got uh, the washers off a little bit so we'll get those back in order here if you you know if you use a little bit of the the lube it stays together pretty well those washers will stay on there, but obviously getting into that space there, a little bit trickier. So we got the top done. And it looks like the bottom one, just gotta scoot it over, come in from the bottom side with a bit and just kind of hold it in place there. So it kind of lines it up. As you can see there, it goes all the way through. And then I will get my other scale on. I guess I'll move that a little bit so you guys can see it more. There we go. And while it's in that position, I'm just gonna throw a couple of these in just to hold it. Kind of like before. And then one on 
the top. I do have to say I'm glad there wasn't very uh, much Loctite on there, blue Loctite, because it was easy to get all these out. They're just small screws for the bug out. Okay. Now hopefully I'm doing the pivot correctly. I think it all goes on the right side, so we will definitely see. So I always pull the access bar back a little bit, as you can see here, and then put the bit through on the other side. And that flat part that's on here, you can see it right there at the top. That goes up towards the top of the liners. So we'll try to work that through. The goal is obviously to get that to go all the way through. So let's see here. Hold on and see what we look like. We are really close. A lot of time the tolerances are pretty darn accurate with the titanium. So I found, oh, there we go. Got the first little bit in. So I just work the bit back and forth and around a little bit, keeping the access bar back a little. And that usually helps get the rest of this through. A little twist. Twist. Of course, it's always one of those like, hey, it's on camera. Let's make it really long for you. One more try here. There we go. Okay, where do we got left here? Looks like we need to move the blade just a smidge out of that hole, as you can see. So, there we go. You can see it popped right up to the bottom there. So I release the access bar. And you can see how it's pushed in through on that side. So we'll go ahead and get the other side of the pivot now. I'll just put that in. I'm just gonna tighten this down finger tight and get the rest of the hardware in. So that all stays together. Yeah, so pretty excited to try these out compared to the other ones I have. Let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know if this is something. And if you haven't seen my giveaways, uh, check out my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'll link it down below here. But check it out because uh, Rockscale has donated a set of these, but in a different color. So be excited to see that go to somebody. And then... Uh, there's, yeah, there's so many great giveaways. I can't wait to tell you guys about the rest of them. So a lot of great companies, a lot of great people giving stuff away. So anyways, what do you guys think? I like it. I think it makes it look really, really good. I like that color of blue. I got to clean them off. Got a little bit of oil on there, but yeah. So I'm going to get the pocket clip on and then uh, get my other bug outs and we'll compare them really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, we got it all back together. Let's take a quick look at it around. What are your guys' final thoughts? Yeah, it's a win. Blue barrel spacers, blue thumb stud. Kind of that powder coat blue look. S30V blade on the bug out. I like it. So what I want to do is compare it to the other one I have, for which is Critter Scales, uh, the pattern, but it's also from Rock Scale Design. And you've probably seen this from my other video. If you haven't, go check it out. But it's got a blue with kind of that brass gold colored finish. And then the same with the backspacer being blue. And kind of a, I forget what he calls this pattern. But basically it's got some texturing to it, which is nice. And it goes all the way around to the end. Yeah, so I really like this critter design. I know he's got some flat scales as well. But I wanted to compare these two together and see what you guys think. I like the uh, gold with the blue, which is trip. I love this one. Um, I like this one for being pretty basic and going with the satin blade. And just because we're out here doing this, uh, let's run down. 
just want to do comparison of all my bug outs real quick. I don't know if we can do that. Maybe I'll back up the camera a little bit and uh, try to bring in just a little display I have of some bug outs. So here's the display. Yeah, it's not going to fit on there. I have to use a different tripod. So we'll just see if we can do a quick lineup of them. So we got the two critters. We got a Micarta, linen Micarta from Rogue Blade Works. So rock scale design, rock scale design, Rogue Blade Works, carbon fiber. This is a, let me do one more here. This is a G10 from Putman, P-U-T-M-A-N. I think I got those off uh, GP Knives. I know a couple of sites have them. Then I did some scale dies on a couple of them. And let me move this a little bit. Um, so the scales that I dyed, this is like a navy blue. This is a red. And then I did a backspacer, a titanium backspacer from Rock Scale Design. We did also these two. And then, of course, a purple. Um, I really like the purple. You know, it contrasts really well with the, with the gold, the brass colors. So let me know what you guys think. Which one's your guys' favorite? You know, um, none of the stock ones are on here. I'll move this over so you guys can see it. But none of the stock ones are on there. But we have all the aftermarket ones that I own and the stock ones that I've colored. So I guess if I had to pick one myself, let's do one aftermarket and one original that's dyed. I would say I would probably go with the red. Man, I really like that purple. I use both of them quite a bit. Uh, the red one because I have the backspacer. And if I had to go on here, that's really hard. I don't want to pick between because I love all of these. So G10 um, just doesn't have that. I mean, G10 is G10. So I think if I had to choose between these four, I would pick these four. You know, the rigidity of the carbon fiber and the titanium is great. And there's also good, you know, strength here in the Micarta. But this does take on a little bit of your hand oils and stuff, which is the best part of a Micarta, right? So anyways, if you have an opportunity to pick up any of these, or if you have, you know, an inclination to do some projects, um, I'll link another one of my videos down below where I've dyed scales, taken apart and dyed scales. But anyways, I really appreciate you guys being here. Re really appreciate you guys supporting and let me know what you think golden blue or just the flat blue and check out my subscriber giveaways because i got a big one coming up on the 1000 and there's going to be scales from rogue and rock scale designs there so hope you guys are doing good you guys have an awesome week and take care